You know what is a really good topic to discuss now that Dominion is out digitally, it's about to be out of theaters, and it's even about to come out on disc. Here's a really good topic to discuss. What is actually the point of the Jurassic franchise? What's the point of it all? And the reason I wanna bring that up is because after seeing some critical reviews and critical comments made about the film, and you guys know I've been addressing that and trying to uh, try to level the playing field a little bit here, I do want to go back to the very first Jurassic Park movie because almost everybody universally loved that movie. I think it's got a super high tomato meter rating. Uh, everybody loved it. I, I saw all kinds of fans who said they love the first movie, but they hate Dominion. And that's fine. That's your opinion. I understand. You, you like what you like and don't like what you don't like. Hey, you're particular. So am I. I completely get it. But something I do want to bring up, as I was listening to a lot of people, they were all talking about, oh, the dinosaurs are so much better, so much more dinosaur-centric than versus Dominion. And that's what I actually want to hone in on. Guys, the, there are some movies that don't really have a specific point that are still huge, right? I, 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 like if you're asking me, I kind of felt that way about Avatar. I actually sat down and watched that a few months back. And I, I, I mean, I enjoyed it. Don't get me wrong. It had great acting. Um, there's some, there was fantastic visuals, but it's literally about nothing. <laughs> that's how I came away from it. I felt like it's the sci-fi version of Seinfeld. It's literally about nothing. That's just how I came across. But it, hey, it raked in a ton of money. But Jurassic franchise actually has a point. And I think a lot of the people who watched the first movie completely missed it. The whole point was all about bioengineering and the terrors that it could unleash upon our world. Does anybody understand that? When Michael Crichton, you know, th that's actually how this whole thing started, was there's a two book series, Jurassic Park and then The Lost World, written by an author named Michael Crichton. He was an adventure slash thriller writer. And he's the guy that started it all. And then Spielberg read it and I was like, hey, I can make a fantastic movie off that. And it kind of went from there. Michael Crichton's books were definitely focused on more of the killer dinosaur thing, you know? trying to hold you in suspense and write a lot of gripping action scenes. When Spielberg took it over, he actually went in a different direction. Oh yeah, his production looked fantastic, the dinos looked neat, but that wasn't the point. The whole thing revolved around InGen and frankly, the foolishness of John Hammond. While John Hammond was a character who meant well, he didn't mean to do any harm, he just wanted to create something that people could learn from and enjoy ultimately. That's all he really wanted but he was taken advantage of by the corrupt organization InGen, who it wasn't really so much dinosaurs for them. They just wanted to see if he could do it. If he could like take DNA extracted from mosquitoes in amber, which actually, I mean, hypothetically you could do that. It's never been done, but I mean, I could actually see how that could happen. And they wanted to own bioengineering itself. That's what the whole point was. They were saying, if you can do that with dinosaurs, what else could we do with it? What other terrors could we unleash upon the world? And that was the whole point. You can't create things like this and then put them in a park and just expect them to be docile. Okay, uh, the whole, really the film is summed up so well and one of the most memorable lines was by Dr. Ian Malcolm, you know, the Jeff Goldblum character, where John Hamill's like, look, we're just trying to bring back nature. We're trying to show people what life was like. And then Malcolm steps in and he says, no, you're not. He said, you're just a man trying to play God. And that's not right, <laughs> right? That's the whole point of it. We have no right to be tampering with nature, and certainly not with genetics like that. That was the point of the first movie. Now, granted, Jurassic Part 2 and 3 diverged from that a little bit, and yeah, it was a lot more about the dinosaurs. Jurassic World was all about the dinosaurs too, absolutely. Still love those movies, but they definitely went. Fallen Kingdom, and especially Dominion, came back full circle and really brought home this, frankly, allegory about what bioengineering could do to ourselves, our world, how we could ultimately annihilate ourselves by doing this, okay? Dark science, people, don't mess with it. That's the whole point. So, if we're gonna talk about Dominion and everybody's saying, well, it doesn't have enough dinosaurs or the dinosaurs are unrealistic. Guys, that's not really the point. Yes, I, I wanna see that too, because it's pretty neat. It makes for great action scenes, really suspenseful and it's fun, but that's not the point of the movie. The whole point, Jurassic Park, the very first one that everybody loves is bioengineering and why we shouldn't do it. That's the point. And I thought that with Dominion about to come out on disc and really wrap up its release, I thought now was a really good time to remind everybody about that and go back over it. 
So thank you for watching this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.